Hello everybody and welcome back to our Booster Dortmund recreation. Now, first thing I want to show you is never listen to your staff, hardly ever. Here's an example of why. So, you can see here, this player here, Antinos, this Greek lad here, one half star ability, two and a half star potential. I don't really care about the stars, I've always said that on this channel, I don't care about the stars, right? And you can see here though, lack of potential, do not offer contract, okay? So, let's get this right, do not offer contract. Are you ready for this? That's who they think we should not offer a contract to at 16 years old. Who is doing this recommendation? Must be a double agent for Bayern Munich. It's got to be, isn't it? Like, Lars Ricken, unbelievable. So, no, we'll be offering him a contract. Right, I just thought I'd show you that first. Let's get out of the way. Right, we won our game off camera against strict guards, which was relatively simple. Now, now then, Ajax second leg and Augsburg semi-final. Now, if they somehow drop points, we could play the Bayern game the next episode because it's sort of like, oh, I can get back to... Wrong series, I'm afraid, ladies and gentlemen, that is. So, yeah, they could lose. We have to beat them. If we beat them, because they have a game in hand as well, so they lose, they just stay five points clear. Yeah, no, it's over, isn't it, really? They need to drop points three times. Ain't gonna happen. Anyway, today's game, then, is gonna be our first team that we can play in the Champions League. Werner and Diop both play in the, in the league game because they're not eligible to play for the Champions League. So they played, they played well, team played pretty well, actually. And we'll get into this game and hope for the best here. You see, we're still looking at having our pivots. They played a lot better, didn't they, as, as pivots in the last episode. We talked about that. And uh, having the, the 10 rod being more like a striker. So those are the two things we sort of were, were focusing on. So let's see how that goes in today's episode. Here we go then. Big, big game for Bruce Dortmund. For this first season to be a success, we have to win at least one of the cut. Like, the cut would be good. At the Champions League, that would be obviously amazing. And we should be better in this leg with the, defen uh, the defensive part of the team fixed a little more. I mean, the shadow striker still drops in as a 10, okay, out of possession. I'm not too bothered about the... I'm not too concerned from what I've seen earlier on. Fuck, you know, from the number 10, anyway. Is this going to be another classic in the Champions League, like with our Barcelona save and Arsenal, wasn't it, in the semi-final? Unbelievable amount of goals in that game. Tadic and Rain, yeah, easy for the goalkeeper. What does he do with this? I might take off his distribution, actually, because I haven't set to go to the striker, but if that's Timo Werner, that's not really what you want every time is bringing it up to the, the big man, Timo Werner. Baku gets the right hand side to Bellingham. Bellingham whips it in. It's going to be cleared easy. Beckow is going to recover and just stay on it. Plays to Basuma. Basuma to Lodi. Lodi at the far post. Crosses it in and it's going to be cleared away. That was wonderful for Ajax. And they play it through. Surely they're going to be through here. They go to the far post. Oh dear. Wow. Beckow to Marin. Marin's going to get it and play it to Jude Bellingham who gives it away. That is not good. What is going on here? Ajax hold on to the ball play on the right hand side. Anthony has it. Reina, Jesus, this is unreal. I've just put the tempo up by one in possession because I just don't feel like we're really moving it quick enough in this game. This is more noticeable in this one. I don't really know why. That piece, Musiala gets it, plays it across. Keeper saves it. Marion to Basuma. Basuma far post Becal. Cleared away, and that's going to be the end of that. That's all we've seen so far. Things are going well. I mean, we've been better defensively apart from the very first chance of the game. It's like we can't seem to get better defensively and then be better in possession as well. It's a real struggle for us in this recreation. I've just switched the right back to full back attack instead of wing back support and see if that helps balance the attack. So he's more defensive as a, he's not going to stop dribbling with the ball all the time, but he's still going to be aggressive getting it. I just think in the match engine, it will. He's going to be a bit too passive with... It's going to be too passive on this side with those two both on support. So the ball play it back to their centre-back. They play it into the midfield. I mean, like, what is that? Watch right centre-back. Number five here, Beckow. Watch him. Like, you don't need to do that. But the midfielders should be coming across together a lot sooner. Is it a pet? No, where's, where's, um, who is it? Bellingham. After a set piece, but like Bellingham, you're playing right central field, mate. Like either you and your partner here, Basuma, need to switch. You can't both play on the left hand side. I mean, is that, that could just be a bug. I don't think that's the settings that we've got. That could be just where the players have, have latched onto players and marked them after a set piece. So I don't know whether that's worth changing it for because I don't think that's a tactical problem. I don't think we can... That's, that's the, that occurring has got nothing to do with what we've got set here is what I'm basically getting at. One of Fabricio Dortmund's, Lodi. 
head away. Marin's going to get to it. Plays it to Suma to Bellingham, to Marin, to Beckow, to Maximan, to Backer on the right-hand side. Surely Backer whip it in. Doesn't. Plays it back to Maximan. Oh, come on. I'm going to take off Pedri and put on Kingsley coming to on the left and then move Musiala down the middle and see how that goes in the next little bit here. Aku into Bellingham. Aku's just got a hold, really. Coming. Oh. Get yourself back now, Baku. What are you doing? That was Bellingham. Okay, Baku is there now. I was just getting confused by a for a second then which one was which, because they're both similar numbers. And, oh dear. Back to support. I'm going to put be more expressive on, just to see if that unleashes some creativity amongst these three. And Musiala is going to come off and Rain is going to go on. Corner. Whipped in by Lodi. Far pose. Get out the fucking way. Whatever this is. Anthony has the counter attack. Are they going to get us? Basuma's arena. Oh no. They have it. Ajax. Oh, it was close. Kick for Ajax. Lodi gets to it. Don't go, just get back, Lodi. What are you doing here? Don't need to go press that. Let the forwards press this. Are oh, they going to switch, are they? As long as you stay there. Okay, now they've switched properly. Oh dear, they're in. Reina's in. No fucking way is that a foul. And it's a red card, isn't it? Yellow. This could be a goal highlight, though. It is. Oh, what's Tadjic? It might not be. Absolutely disgraceful. We're getting knocked out by them. I mean, there are so many better teams you can get knocked out by in FM than them. Like that. Finally sort of fix some of the defensive stuff. And then when we finally get there, it just destroys all attacking output completely. Nothing happened at home against Ajax in the Champions League. Against the weakest and poorest team in the Champions League that's left right now. We couldn't play well against them at home. With the goal advantage, might I add. Musiala, terrible. Pedri, terrible. Haaland, non-existent. Some of the very best players on the game. I thought we'd been better defensively. If you look at that, two clear cut chances, three half chances, 2.7 half XG, no penalty involved. Really low because I really thought that we had a chance in this competition because the way that we played and we were able to score like threes and fours against teams out of nowhere. That's just ruined. That, that, that is just... This has been a major disappointment this season. Like We're going to end up finishing second and maybe with the German Cup if we're lucky. Knocked out in the Champions League quarterfinals to Ajax. I'm out of ideas for it as a flat 43 one. Be a deep one. Because they do collect the ball for defence a lot, but I mean, they also press high, so they'd have to press high if we do it. So, yeah, I'm going to play this give off the camera against Wolfsburg. I'm probably going to play a deep version just to see what it looks like. And I'll report back when we come back in a second. But I'm really annoyed, disappointed. I'm sorry, almost like it's an apology from me to the, the viewers for making this such a shit episode by losing to the worst team in the competition. What we're going to do here is we're going to do a three-game episode. So we're going to play this game in the semi-final. I'm also going to play Bayern away from home to do uh, to go through a couple more tweaks that we're looking at. Now, the reason is that Bayern Munich just lost the first game of the season out of nowhere. So if we beat them, they somehow lost another game. We'd win the league. But also, if buts and maybes there, I mean, are they Wolfsburg or wait? No, they're not. More of a chance than drawing a couple. So if we, if we were to beat them... Let's say they win the game in hand. So they go to 79, we go to 77, two points. So we'd need two draws. No, it's not going to happen, but we'll just see how things go anyway. Yeah, the team's going to be this. We get finally get Diop into the first team here. So the tweaks that I made is in the game off camera, I played the right pivot. So the Gundogan role is a Roman playmaker. It works really well, actually, because the Roman playmaker does drop to get on the ball and get out, which is probably about... Which is probably, it's quite good to for a Gundogan roll. The problem with it, my concern was that it'd go too high too early in possession and then get us caught on the counter. But even if that is where we lose a bit of our realism, if it's a bit too aggressive, as we have then got our support this side. And it just, we were, one, one, we were drawing 1-1 one, one at half time in the game. And I switched to that concept. Um, so we are winning 2 and a half time. And we looked loads better in the second half. What happened is I actually had them in, in DMs. So we were playing with two pivots in the DM slots. We went 1-0 up, then they scored to make it 1-1. So I changed straight away to this. Then we scored almost immediately. Then we scored two more on the second half and we were really good after that. So that's what we're currently looking at is this. Because uh, lots of the stuff we've got is right. In fact, I did have Shadow Striker in that game. I'm actually This is a new thing that I've not seen yet. We're going to see this together as attacking midfielder attack and see if that works any better for the Royce role or the Goats role. Manager says, media comments. Okay, Baku to some maximum, some maximum right hand side, and straight to Pedri. Wow, that looked looked slightly better. At least he made a run in behind, I suppose. Corner again, some maximum. Oh, there it is. Surely, no. Come on. So, 
Bussiala, come on. With the, current, with the previous set that we had, my only concern was even the games that were running off camera, it nearly always involved a set-piece goal, either a penalty, a corner, or a free kick. So we're winning games, but involved a goal, like from set-piece to get us out of trouble. So that tactic could have had a longer problem than I realised. And it just took a lot longer for it to like sort of reappear and then cost the results like it did against Ajax. But I'm still a bit annoyed about that. Like, dude, is there any need for that? Does he need to do this? I'm going to say no. Like, just recycling around. What's your problem? I mean, I can drop the mentality, but we'd have to tweak a lot of other things to get back all the good bits that we've got with, the, with it being on attacking. Erling Haaland, surely. Yeah. Say, a god makes his favourites. Similar to Komen, Komen to Haaland. Haaland to Shimmercast, Shimmercast on the left-hand side, but we've seen the far post, cleared. Baku gets to it first. It's on the right-hand side, Erling Haaland, surely. Oh, come on, boys. Yeah, goal kick to them. We're going to play it straight. Oh, sorry, it was a free kick. And Max Manon gets on the right-hand side. He's going to go all the way to the right. He's going to have to cross this. No, Erling Haaland is a goal. I don't know why he had to do that. So Max Man may have worked 1 0. I just thought here he could start driving towards the full back here and look to through ball somebody, but he goes all the way wide and then decides he's going to cross it. And Erling Haaland's got a couple of these this season. I was advanced forward, so he's back in the goals and it's 1 0. Throw into them, they're going to throw it into the middle. They're going to play it across. Like, what is the centre back doing? Like, what has happened there? Goal kick, Diop to Daoud. Daoud gets it, plays it to Shimakas. Shimakas to Daoud. Daoud to Pedri. Get a bit higher, Pedri. That's just absolutely rubbish, mate. It is really bad. Pedri gets it, plays it to Werner. Werner to St. Maximan. That's a terrible effort, really. They're going to clear it, and that's going to probably be that. Well, they're in. Osberg have scored. I thought that was the end of the game. Oh, my God. What has happened? In what an... <laughs> Any, any quick fix that you think is, well, your, your defensive lines too, anything you're thinking of, I've tweaked it, I've tried it, like, it's, it's a really difficult one to get right. The, the only thing I'm left to do with this is I have to drop the mentality to make it better defensively, and we'll hope that that works. I mean, there's no guarantee that works. That isn't really how it works anyway, but, I mean, positive will drop, what are they now? Centre-backs are on balance, so if I was to drop to positive, what would they be on? Cautious. Right, let's try that. I put the tempo up. Might have to mess with all these other settings, like maybe go full width now. Um to try and replicate the same sort of tactics, but now let's leave it as it is, but just drop the mentality to tempo. Uh drop the mentality to positive. I'm gonna take Distribute to position off. Just leave it as it currently is. Let's try this and see if this works. Here we are then. Last chance to stop Munich really winning the title. And oof. at the start of this episode, we had an opportunity to win two trophies. And I thought we'd be in the semi-final of one and the final of another. It's like, it's not really hit me yet like how bad this has been. It's this third game. I just want to get through this third game before we review it, but a defeat here is really bad. I don't know. If we take off one position, let's leave that off. Oh, hold position. I wonder if I can... No, I need to move into channels, doesn't he? Get further forward. Let's try that. It just says, keep the good run going. I mean, what good run is he on about? Join your, uh, your day anyway. I was going to say what day it was, but it could be any day for you whenever this comes out, so... And you could be watching it in the future anyway, past that point, so, yeah. I wouldn't say I'm nervous at all, actually, for this, because I'm resigned to the fact this is going to be a defeat, and it's going to be one of the worst episodes in the history of the channel. So, uh, Kimmich throws it into Muller, zoom in a little bit here at this uh, bigger stadium. Kimmich tries it at the right-hand side, plays it to, to uh, the centre-back as we eventually press. Lodi wins it, Basuma, Diop, running Lodi, Pedri, Pedri and Haaland. A little bit too stretched. It's going to be a goal, incidentally. Good, own goal. It was just a bit too stretched there, like, because the striker and the defence and the midfielders were so far apart, it had to be like a really risky long ball in behind, which I don't think's exactly... What, well, I, that wasn't too bad, I suppose. 
If it had been a bit more into space, it would have been better. We'll take one of those. Thanks, Julie. He's joining us in the summer. Good lad. He knows what he's supposed to be doing for us. Good lad, Nicholas Zulu. Into the highlight for Bayern, though. Oh, Lewandowski's in. Are we going to stop this? Of course we're not. 1-1, one, one, of course not. For one, I just can't let Bayern not win the title. I like immediately after. What is going on with this? I don't know what it is what you think, but since I've started this save, I feel like the pitch is, is too big. In every save, and, and that's home in a way, it just feels like the players are smaller in this save than they are in other saves. And I don't know why that is. It just feels like the players are almost not big enough for the pitch. And it's normally the opposite, if anything, but like, just, I don't know, it's weird in this, in this save. Um, oh. Are we going to get to this? Are we going to get to this? No. Anybody? No. Kimmich plays with Lewandowski, who's dropping and get on the ball. Oh, Nian's who's dribbling like, oh, we're not even there. That's got to be a joke. Somebody's winding me up here. One of her Dortmund to obtain fire post. Yes, come on. Two on. I've just put the pressing up to full press, by the way, as well, right before this happens. The only thing is, we spent a lot of money on forward players. So we're not really going to be buying many, so they, it's going to be the same players next year. Unless we sold Haaland and reinvested it all. But I doubt that's going to happen. I just can't see myself stomaching that. It'd have to be a lot of money. Red card highlight. Yes, Thomas Muller. Get off the pitch, Thomas. Sit down. In a cross of Bayern, it gets cleared. So oh, Nians is looking like prime Beckenbauer. Oh, my God. Erling Haaland's going to come off. Timo Werner's going to go on. We haven't really played well in this game. We scored from a set piece and got slightly fortunate. Well, a set piece and an own goal, remember. So, let's not get... Even if we do win, nothing's happened, really. Still flawed. Still not good enough. Just wish there was almost like a roll that's like between the striker and the cam where I can put my like right voice roll. I can't put them as, as a sh two strikers. Won the game 2-1 as well. Uh, the reason I'm not really reacting to the win is they're not going to drop points twice. They're just not. So, um, and it has to be a defeat in one of those two as well because I think yeah, so next episode then, there's not much left to play for. I'm going to skip this game because, I mean, normally we do three game episodes at the end of the season, but I just don't see the point in coming back for that one. We'll come back for these last two here and we'll do a proper end of season review and look at the tactic again. Maybe use the data hub to have a look at some stuff. So next episode will be more of a reflection episode when we finish. I think we'll finish second. We could win the title still if they drop points, not rolling it out. No, we're trying to just set us up for a... I mean, they're out of form now, to be fair. Oh, a couple of injuries as well. But, I mean, if they're going to drop points, they have to drop, they have to draw one of these two. These next two coming up. And then it all goes down to really Wolfsburg away. So, we'll see. Did they draw too early in the season? Anybody good? Ah, we'll see. Um, that's the episode anyway. Hope you're enjoying the series. It's not going as well as we'd like. I still don't know what to do with this role. I don't, I just don't know what to do with, with this role at the moment. I mean, this is whatever, and the mentality is what. Well. There's so many. It's frustrating because I think on attacking mentality, unless I put the wingers back, it's just going to be bad defensively. It just is. Because the style of the pressing, it has to have a slightly higher line. It's just going to be a, a bad situation for us. So I wish there was like a role here, like right behind Haaland there. But that is going to do the episode. Thank you very much for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time.